Justin Trudeau is in total panic mode. After eight years of telling Canadians they had to pay higher carbon taxes on gas, heat, and groceries, he admitted that his carbon tax is not worth the cost of heat. Now, what caused this sudden press conference that he cobbled together on Parliament Hill with little notice? Was it because he was concerned at the 78% increase in food bank use under his watch? No. Was it because he worried that 1.9 million visits had to happen to a single in a single month to food banks because Canadians could not feed themselves after eight years of his leadership? No. Was it because he's worried that scurvy is making a comeback after eight years of his government's taxes and inflationary policies. No, that didn't worry him either. It was because he was worried that he doubled the cost of housing or that these homeless encampments are becoming common right across the country. That wasn't his concern either. What caused Justin Trudeau to freak out yesterday and hold a sudden press conference to announce that he was going to pause the carbon tax on home heating oil? The answer is that he was plummeting in the polls and Pierre Polyev was holding massive rallies in liberal held ridings to axe the tax. Justin Trudeau is not worried about the cost of living. He's worried about the cost of votes. And that's what caused his panicked flip-flop yesterday. Yesterday was the one-year anniversary that liberal MPs, including liberal MPs from Newfoundland and Labrador, voted to keep taxes on home eating oil. But what does this announcement really mean? Well, one, Trudeau and the Liberals are still going to go ahead with a carbon tax on your gas and groceries, a tax they plan to quadruple to 61 cents a litre. Two, Justin Trudeau announced yesterday that if you re-elect him, he will put the tax back on your home eating oil. Three, he says, don't worry, he'll send you 11 bucks more in the mail. 11 bucks. These days, that's a few cups of coffee. Who's going to feed themselves on 11 bucks while he drives up the cost of the gas and diesel that you put in your car, the fuel that goes into the, the, sh the boats of our fishermen, and into the tractors of our farmers, which will drive up the food of the cost of all the food we bring home. That's what you're voting for if you keep Justin Trudeau or the local Atlantic Canadian Liberals elected. A 61 cents a liter carbon tax that will force our seniors to cut back on meals and go hungry. It'll mean more malnutrition. It'll mean hundreds of thousands more Canadians jamming into food banks. Lineups at food banks, they look like bread lines from the Great Depression after eight years of Justin Trudeau. But he's not done yet. So my message to Atlantic Canadians and all Canadians, don't be fooled by Justin Trudeau's latest panic maneuver. He still plans to hit you with a 61 cent a liter carbon tax and every single liberal MP is responsible for making that tax apply. And finally, what about all the other Canadians who don't use home eating oil but use gas? Gas which ironically has lower greenhouse gas emissions will still pay the carbon tax. So working class people in the suburbs of Ontario the prairies and British Columbia who heat with natural gas will be cold and broke because of Justin Trudeau and his carbon tax. He's excluding, he doesn't care about them because he's making political calculations. This is not about environmental science, it's about political science. The good news is that life wasn't like this before Justin Trudeau and it won't be like this after he's gone. Common sense conservatives are going to turn the hurt that he's caused into the hope that Canadians need. Pierre Polyev and the common sense conservatives will axe the Trudeau tax 
entirely and forever. There will be no flip-flopping. There will be no turns of corners. There will no, no, be no little targeted exemptions here or gimmicks there. We will ax the Trudeau tax completely. And we will bring home more powerful paychecks with lower income taxes that reward hard work by approving natural resource projects to bring Newfoundland and Labrador's uh, oil and gas sector roaring back to life so that we can replace the overseas oils we're bringing in with clean Canadian energy. We'll approve natural gas liquefaction pro projects so that we can turn dollars for dictators into paychecks for our people. We'll incentivize cities to speed up and lower the cost of building permits, to build, build, build homes that Canadians can afford. We'll bring home safety with jail and not bail for repeat violent offenders, treatment and not more tax-funded drugs for addicts. We will bring home safety by sealing our borders against illegal guns smuggled from the United States, and we will respect law-abiding and licensed sports shooters and hunters and end Justin Trudeau's harassment of them. All in all, we can sum it up in two words, common sense. The common sense of the common people united for our common home. Your home, my home, our home. Let's bring it home.